How's it going, Teal Boys? It is week three, uh, and we've got to go on the road at a angry 0-1 Clemson. And now, before we get into that, obviously we have our recruiting, but we're going to make a quick little change here. Uh, let's go to our house rules, and we're actually going to uh, make things a little bit more difficult for us. Where is our... That's game rules. Here it is. Our running back ability. We're going to drop it uh, by five. Uh, we won't touch the run blocking. It's already about as low as we can put it. Um, so we'll see if that makes things maybe a little bit better for us. And uh, let's go ahead and see what we can do recruiting wise. Now at the end of last week, we added a couple guys onto the board. We need to scout them now. And I'm curious to see if they're any good. Uh, they look decent. Tackle guard and another tackle on their overalls before scouting. Atari Thurman goes up. That's kind of an interesting first name. Uh, David Woods goes up to a 73. And Tim Stevens goes down to a 68. But that's not a bad pickup, even for Tim at 68 overall. The question is really just going to be, uh, you know, is there a good chance for us to pick these guys up? Doesn't look like it will be possible from Tim Stevens. Uh, David Woods could be doable. And how about Atari Thurman? Just outside that range. So we can... Now, I guess, come through here and figure out points. Uh, we'll be taking points away from a decent amount of these recruits and then uh, offering some scholarships and moving them further down the board. So, we'll go through here. Bottom of the board, we'll just start removing some players because obviously some stuff isn't going to work. Atari Thurman will come off the board. Uh, so will Tim Stevens. But David Woods looks like that's, you know, maybe possible. So we'll add him, see if we can fight against uh, Baylor, Texas Tech, basically uh, a lot of Big 12 schools. And then we'll just continue to look around. Travis Mansfield has been getting the full points, but isn't going anywhere. So he'll come off the board and I'll just go through and do a lot of this uh, until we figure out what's going to be possible for us to pick up. All right. So I've dropped the numbers down a bit. Um... A lot of guys off the board, and now we can offer some scholarships this week, starting with Neil Boone, 77 overall linebacker. We're in the lead with him. Three-star guy from Pulaski, Pulaski, Tennessee? I don't know, he's from Tennessee. Uh, we'll give him the offer. Maurice Dingle, this wide receiver, he's 69 overall. <laughs> he's got a lot of a lot of meme -y things going for him. Uh, he's going to get it, the Medford, Massachusetts man. Uh, Eugene McNeil, a lot of guys uh, from Ohio, 68 overall defensive tackle. Josh Gunn already has one. Uh, Tom West, see another another decent player, 67 overall free safety from South Carolina. We've got uh, no more points left, but uh, a couple guys that we will be offering scholarships to. Wendell Whitlock, David Burke, basically... All of this, and as you can see all the way up at the top, only 27 guys currently on the board. Um, and we're in a decent position to pick a lot of them up, uh, just in terms of points. And some of these guys really, really good. Imagine if we got somebody like Roger Reed. Uh, it could be potentially program changing. So we'll just go ahead and make sure that we are uh, doing enough for these guys. And uh, I'll go ahead and fill the rest of the board out. But let's take a look at ESPN. Alrighty, how about the top 25? I think that we might have taken a little look at this last week, but we'll just double check uh, or we'll refresh ourselves on what games are being played this week. We saw again a couple top 10 uh, teams lose, including I think the biggest loss being probably like a number seven Oregon losing to an unranked Wyoming. But, you know, we've got uh, five and eight or sorry, four and five in Georgia and North Carolina playing uh, USC's playing a ranked Cal. So that's uh, a chance for some big uh, top 10 losses. And then, uh, you know, just outside the top 10, Tamu, Tennessee playing. And of course, we are playing Clemson, who starts the season 0-1. And, and I'm very, very worried for this. Clemson gets A pluses across the board. Uh, on their rankings. <laughs> this is not looking good. Uh, we do beat them in a couple of uh, stats, but I mean, like, it's just not great. And they played uh, Georgia, who's number four in 2 0. So that was their one loss, and they lost it by three. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't look good for us. I'm, I'm going to say I'm not super optimistic. Uh, we have a close win against uh, oh, now 0 1. 
or still 0-1 Kansas State in an 0-2 uh, Georgia State we beat by six. So <laughs> I'm scared. Uh, we just don't want to have like half of our team die to injuries, but let's just try to get through this one, I guess. We are going to wear the all white uh, uniforms just in case we need to surrender. It'll be pretty easy to do that. And Clemson, you know, being updated, has a bunch of options. Kind of tempted to give them the purple. Uh, that's a that's a fun combination. We could go all orange as well, though. Um, what about something that is just like a little bit weird, maybe? <laughs> Do we go orange, orange, purple? Uh, I don't really like that. <laughs> Let's go with the purple jerseys. Why not? They're fun. They're new added to the game. We might as well see them. 99 overalls across the board compared to our uh, low 80s. This is going to be a rough one. Alrighty, here we are in Death Valley. What can we get done? Going with tails on the coin toss. We will win. We're going to elect to kick this one off. Uh, I just feel like getting the ball at halftime is going to be massive. And so hopefully the defense can start us off pretty well on this one. Biscardi putting it out of the back of the end zone. And the defense is going to have to defend for 75 yards against Trevor Lawrence and the rest of the Clemson offense. I did try to record this game before and it wasn't going well for us, but the emulator froze at halftime. So hopefully that doesn't happen to us here as Dixon picks up an easy first down up the middle. And we're going to bring the blitz on this first down. They are looking to throw maybe Trevor Lawrence all the time in the world. He finds Dixon. This is going to be an illegal uh, receiver, isn't it? He must have stepped out of bounds. Yeah, illegal touching. That was a beautiful one-handed catch, but it's going to be five yards. And uh, I think a loss of down as well. So second and 15 for us. We've got them backed up to the 30 thanks to the penalty. The refs might be... A, uh, the best player in our defense this game, and there's a pick from Spillum! Nobody's going to be able to catch him, and we're going to be on the board first with a pick six! Trevor Lawrence with the terribly mistimed or misread throw, and Alex Spillum is there. He takes it all the way to the house, 7 nothing Coastal. And North Carolina holds off against Florida State, so that top five team getting their first win of the season. So the penalty puts Clemson into a spot where they're forced into the uh, passing situation. And oh, they just went right over the top of me. Trevor Lawrence showing it no hesitation to continue throwing the ball. And man, we are getting a lot of uh, lag here on the audio as we're there with Shelton, but he drops it. Oh, the user pick was there for us. We just couldn't quite get it. Uh, we're going to be bringing a lot of pressure, a lot of blitzes, but how big would it have been to get that pick? I'm totally fine with this so long as we get the tackle and we t <laughs> he gets the stiff arm. She's in the first down. Clemson is in the hurry up right now. Maybe feeling a little bit of pressure. Good run from Dixon. Oh, he's still on his feet, stumbling down. Thankfully, he falls, but it is pretty clear at this point with all the hurry up that these guys are angry. That they don't have the lead, and uh, wow, they're trying to score as quick as possible. Oh my gosh. Unstoppable on the run. Back-to-back -back big ones, and it's a tie game. That's how we expect that to go. Well, our boy is back to return. We're going to be kicking ourselves a lot if, uh, you know, we end up losing by one when we had that interception attempt or the dropped pick, really. Diggs, with a decent return, gets us out to the 35. As our offense steps onto the field for the first time, we're going to be running the ball a lot. My dad told me uh, he doesn't understand why I throw the ball at all in these videos. <laughs> you know, which makes sense. We, we don't do too hot. So we're going to be relying on Reese White and trying to avoid throwing the ball as much as possible. McCall, maybe a dangerous spin move. I thought maybe if we spun to the right, we could get some more. But it's a first down nonetheless. And we will continue to run the ball. Normally here I would try to pass it, but hey, it's working pretty well so far. Another four-yard carry there. And if our uh, offensive line can get a decent push as they will bring some pressure, but likely picks up the first down. The tight end getting the big run. Yeah, I got to expect that they're going to be bringing a ton of pressure now as we have crossed the midfield points. And there we go. Reese White losing a yard. 
Uh, we're still running on second 11, though. It was only a matter of time until that tackle came in. You know what? Actually, this is incredibly risky. But we're going to pass the ball. It looks like they want to bring some pressure. We'll get into the shotgun. And we will throw this one up. There's a man open. It's bad. Good. He's got a little bit of space. He's got us a third and two. Very manageable. We can definitely pick that up. The real question is, can we do it with a halfback dive? We're going to try. We have two attempts. This is four down territory, and it's going to be only touchdowns on this game. We're not kicking any field goals, but Reese is able to pick it up. Another first down. We're going to really make them think that we are one-dimensional, but hey, it's all for the best. White picking up a couple more there. Hey, this drive is going phenomenally so far. The only thing I'll say is I'm a little bit worried about a turnover as I am calling a screen here. We're looking for the running back. We find White. He's got a blocker in front who picks up the block. That's a first down. I think that looked like maybe we just got inside the red zone as well at the 20-yard line. If we win this game, it will purely be because of decent play calling mixed with uh, the occasional bit of good execution. And hey, we're averaging like four yards a carry. That's fantastic. Javon Hiley. Does have a one-on-one -on -one out there, but we will run this one up the middle. The, dude, the offensive line is incredible. Reese White has the corner. He's inside the 10, and he's down for a first and goal at the 6 or 7-yard line. On top of all of this, we're keeping their defense out for a long time and burning the clock. And I think in a game like this, we need to have as short of a clock as possible. And McCall keeps it on the option. And just waltzes his way into the end zone. 14-7 to Shanta clears now. My one hope for the rest of this game is that we can just consistently score. If we can do that, we win this. This is going to be a handoff up the middle. We're there with Porter, but gosh, Dixon has a massive stiff arm on us. It seems like it's impossible to just bring him down on the first attempt. And he's got another first down. So this could just be a battle of running backs right now. We are blitzing on just about every play, which will eventually get back and, uh, and, you know, catch up to us, make things difficult. But hey, for the time being, we'll take it. I think if anything, on average, we don't bring enough pressure. So kind of make up for it in this game by bringing pressure on every play. Try to make Trevor Lawrence a little bit uncomfortable. This is a deep throw. Spillup was there. Oh, maybe a little bit of bad user from me, but Joseph Nada just goes up and gets it. I thought I had a chance to get that one. Instead, it's them inside the 25 now. Pressure coming on Trevor Lawrence, who throws it on the run. It's a beautiful throw to Justin Ross. Surprised he was in, but it's another first down. We've seen Trevor not making the best throws, as this will be a run that finally gets stopped pretty quickly. But I think we have a chance at another pick. 30 seconds left here in this uh, first quarter. This is going to be a handoff. Shelton kind of got blocked. It's up to Mats to pull him down, and there's the touchdown run. Dixon just not wanting to go down on the day. Tie ball game once again. With 19 seconds left now in the quarter, Diggs is going to be back with a relatively returnable ball if the blocking is right. Just got to get past the 25 here. Oh, I love what I see. Diggs with a lot of room. He's going to be giving us great field position out to the 40-yard line. This is going to be a mistake. Please don't kill me when I throw a pick here. Throwing on the first play of the drive. Just kidding. No, we are throwing it. It's Mobley. Oh my gosh, with a quick first down. Let's get one more playoff in this uh, quarter. Looking for the wide receiver mid screen, which should mean that it's a relatively easy throw. Fountain has it. And that's going to be almost another first down. Gosh, I thought I threw a pick, but hey, it works out for nine yards. And uh, we can come to the end of the quarter. Tie ball game 14 all. And uh, we're driving as well. So this is looking surprisingly in our favor. Grayson McCall is now 4-4 four four through the air on the day. But all I can really think about is what are the odds that the game freezes at halftime again? I really hope it doesn't because this is working so well for us. We've come into uh, Death Valley here and quickly just kind of punch these guys in the mouth. That's a decent stop on Reese, but he still picks up a yard. I don't think they were expecting this at all. Hopefully, Grace McCall really heating up right now. Hopefully, he's able to find his man. We're going over the middle. And White's... Oh, he had it, but couldn't hold on through the contact. Third and nine. This could be very, very dangerous, but we're going to the air. They're bringing pressure. Oh, man. Who's going to be open? 
Who's gonna be open over the middle? There's bed good. Hold on to it. Just we're going for it on fourth down. We just need positive yards. Fourth and five. This has the potential to be our game now on the line. We're gonna put White out of the backfield. Snap the ball. They're bringing a lot of pressure. The running back is open. He holds on to it through the contact, and it's a first down for Coastal. I really am not enjoying passing the ball in this game. It is so scary. We're going to get back to the ground here with a handoff to Reese, who makes a great cut and picks up six yards. We're back inside the red zone. Even if we were to settle a field goal at this point now, we still, you know, at least would have uh, kept this defense out for a long time. How did Reese White just pick up four yards? The spin move turned into him stumbling backwards. And just like that, it's a first and 10 at the 16-yard line. We're going to keep it uh, keep it going. Let him continue to run. He's fallen forward there for another six. Oh, Clemson can't handle it. On second and four, Bedgood's going to come in motion for another jet sweep. Cutting up field just to make sure we eat yards. And it's a third and one inside the 10. We've called in Shamari Jones here on this third and one. See if the fullback can get it done. Oh my god, he got obliterated fourth and two. That was a massive, massive tackle from Balen Spector. We have to pick this one up. Bedgood in motion. Hopefully for a decent block on fourth and two. The option, we're handing it off to White. And he can't get there. Got a yard, got hit early, and he might be injured on that one, which is weird. I'm not really sure how it would happen, but we can't convert. And yeah, he's on the ground. Hopefully Reese White isn't too injured. The last thing that we need is for our star player in this game so far to go down. As they're going to actually step up and throw. It's a quick one to Ross, and he's got the quick first down as well. We'll see if we can keep this pressure up as much as possible. First and 10 now expecting the run. It's not a handoff. We got to Trevor Lawrence and hit him, but he gets the throw off, and there's a broken tackle as Tim Carter picks up 12 yards. Going to continue to keep this pressure. Expecting, I think, a lot of passing here as we're nearing halftime. Just over two minutes left. And Lawrence throws out, and we're able to knock Carter out of bounds quickly. Uh, gain a three that time. We'll just continue to work this outside here. Rushing five now. Seven minutes, or sorry, second and seven. 201 is what I was trying to say. We do stop Dixon there. Third down now. Having a hard time speaking, apparently. On third down, can we get the stop? Not expecting a run. And it's not going to be. It's a sack. Yeah, right as he was letting go of it. We got to take the timeout. Fourth and 11, we get the stop. And who else other than Sidney McRae would get that sack? The freshman is incredible. I just saw the injury, but I didn't see exactly what it was, so hopefully it's not too bad. A returnable ball for Diggs, but he muffs it, and then picks it up and turns it into something. Oh, oh, oh man. What is happening right now? So, Reese White is currently still out, and with a minute and 27, we gotta go to the air here. Gonna be looking for easy throws, stuff like that that gives us a quick first down, Isaiah Likely. Beautiful. Hopefully we don't have to hand it off too much to Pinson. It looks like they're bringing pressure. They are. I'm releasing it. <laughs> Javon Hiley just came down with that. The clock's moving, though. Got to get a playoff soon. A minute and seven. They're bringing a ton of pressure. We're rolling outside the pocket. Grayson McCall can scramble. He's getting some blocks, and he's at the 15-yard line with a minute and one to go. Oh, this is so, so good. At this point, I would settle for the field goal because we get the ball to start the third quarter. And I've gone into look. I thought the game was going to pop this up to, to tell us, but White is going to be out for two weeks. He's got back spasms. So the uh, the redshirt junior running back from Sandy Springs is done for this game and the next. Uh, and next week is at Auburn where we will also need him. So we'll hope at this point that Pinson can help us. I'm looking for Fountain on this one. This is a tough timing throw. And there's the first and goal. Oh, this could be great. Dion Fountain with a nice catch. We're going to call on Pinson's name here. I think they are very stacked up on the line. This might not go well. It's definitely not going well. Loss of a yard. I got to take the second time out. The last time in this situation, the read option didn't work. I don't know if it's going to work this time either, but we're going to go for it on second and goal. 52 seconds. McCall's keeping it. Can't get the spin move to work, and he'll lose some yardage. So now it's third and goal. 
Again, the last thing that we want is to give up the ball right now. So we're just going to try to be safe on this one. And we're going to roll outside the pocket. And we're going to go for it. McCall has the gap and he's in. Seven yard touchdown run. That's McCall's second of the day, right? And with 23 seconds left in the half, we take a seven point lead. The defensive back was too preoccupied with maintaining his coverage that uh, he really wasn't able to do enough there to pay attention to the quarterback. And ooh, that's a good kick return. Uh, out basically to the 30, 19 seconds to go, all three timeouts for Clemson. We know that the passes are going to be coming here. So we've backed everybody off. We're in the cover three. The question is, can we get the stop? They go over the middle. This is acceptable if we get the tackle. This is the first time out for Clemson. And we're kind of into the three deep here now. So we just don't want to give up the touchdown. I'm fine giving up a field goal. 14 seconds left. Spill him. Oh, couldn't quite get to the ball. Joseph Nada gets it 18 yards on that one and gets out of bounds. Nine seconds to go. I think that this might be where they go for their Hail Mary. We'll see on nine seconds to go. No, no, no Hail Mary yet. They're in field goal range. They're taking the timeout. There could still be some magic here. Trevor Lawrence is now nine of 11, I think, or 10 of 12. And with five seconds left, they're going to kick the field goal to go into the locker room with a deficit. No block. The kick is up. Oh, he just barely put that inside. We almost saw a bit of a donk. Off of the left upright, but it's 21-17. Two seconds left. We could still uh, score on the kick return. You never know. Diggs is back there ready. It is not really returnable, but we're going to try it anyways. You never know. Something magical could happen. It is Diggs after all. And no, that was just uh, nothing doing. And we will go into the locker rooms. Oh, no. Diggs might be injured now, but we'll go into the locker room with a lead. And that's as good as we could hope for. So long as the game doesn't freeze here. And hey, we made it. So at the half, we're looking pretty good. We just need to uh, get through this second half. Even if it's a close game, I'm going to be fine with that. We do have some injuries, which are disappointing, but it is what it is. Diggs gets to go back to return again to kick off this second half. And this is with the lead. I'm bringing it out. You never know. May the miracle man work his magic and... Uh, you know, should have taken the touchback, but that gap uh, was close to breaking free. Although Reese White is injured, we're going to try to stick with what we've uh, had working for us. Pinson is now going to be getting a ton of handoffs. And Baden picks up four yards on the first attempt. I think we've done a decent amount to show that uh, we can indeed bring some pressure we'll bring Javon Hiley over for an extra little blocker on the edge there and Pinson just right up the middle has the gap in the first down as well now again like I said in a game like this I want to shorten the game as much as possible I want to take as much time off the clock on our drives it's another benefit of doing all the running so you know as few possessions as we allow Clemson to have is is good and as few as we have to convert is good as well Pinson is doing fantastic four carries now for 17 yards we will now try the read option again on second and four gosh big blitz from the safety but he's not there McCall's got nothing but open space are they going to be able to catch him it's a foot race the 10 the 5 McCall for his third rushing touchdown of the day goes 59 yards and we're going to open up 11 point lead over the Clemson Tigers in Death Valley 437 left in the third quarter Defense comes back out onto the field after doing a honestly a pretty solid job uh, in the first half. The blitz doesn't do enough as they run up the middle. It's second and six. Again, all that we're really looking for right now is uh, just slowing them down. Oh my gosh, what a terribly hard hit. We're bringing a big blitz up the middle on this third down. Seeing what we can do. They don't hand it off. It is a play action. Open over the middle is Ross. And he holds on to it for the first down. 23 yards and across midfield. Trevor Lawrence has two incompletions on the day. One of them was our pick six. The other one was the dropped interception. So finding his guys very easily. And uh, man, they're running well. Dixon is now up to 10 carries on the day and uh, just under 100 yards. I think he's at 97, but that's going to help us out. 
from second and inches, inches, they'll be backed up to second and five or six after the false start. One more stop could be all it takes. 340 in the quarter. They are going to run up the middle. Dixon well over 100 yards now. She picks up 12 more there. And at this point, I see zero reason not to just bring a ton of pressure on every play because it doesn't matter otherwise. We did get to Trevor on that play as he finds the running back on a quick pass. But just about any game that we come up against a uh, 99 overall quarterback is going to be difficult. This one is going to be a handoff up the middle. We're there to stop it. Only a gain of one third and two. We have a chance to hold him to a field goal here. We are absolutely just selling out to stop the run up the middle on third and two. It is a handoff. We're there with Spillum in the backfield. We shot the gap. It's a loss of five and it's fourth and seven for Clemson. They're going to come out with the field goal formation. I got to say, I don't know how I feel about this game because before uh, the first attempt when I tried to record it, at halftime, we were getting slaughtered. Uh, in this second attempt that the game is giving me, <laughs> we're doing so well. Diggs back again to return. Oh, it's beautiful. We've got a great lead, of, although the scoreboard's glitched and won't show it right now. And maybe a decent return could add to that. Yeah, at least it took a couple seconds off the clock. So it is an eight point lead with two and a half to go in the third quarter. I think we honestly might be burning clock this early. Three yard run for Baden Pinson. And yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna try to get this to the fourth quarter. We have no reason to do uh, otherwise. So why not just try to burn this clock? Third and six, we probably will have to pass here, but uh, let's keep this defense out on the field as long as we can. I know that we are in terrible field position, but this is likely going to be four down territory for us. A minute to go in the third quarter. They're bringing pressure outside the pocket. We have a man open. Bed good. Oh, he gets overthrown by Grayson on only his second incompletion of the day. It's fourth and six, but we're going to go for this. Oh, that hurts me that uh, that wasn't complete. What can we do here on fourth down? Oh, shoot. I don't see it. I don't see it. McCall running, 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 throwing, throwing, almost the arm punt. Uh, there's the turnover on downs. I didn't think I could scramble for it there. I had to go uh, try something. Just doesn't quite work out. And this is, uh, this is a real shame because if Grayson just makes a, a better throw on that second down or that third down attempt... We are need, not even having this conversation, and we still had the ball, but instead, Clemson's got it, and uh, they're doing well. We'll continue to try to bring this pressure. This is absolutely going to Dixon, isn't it? No. They're going to throw. Spill them. Oh, just a little bit too slow. And just like that, uh, they score. I imagine they'll go for two here to tie it up. We've come out in an interesting formation. They've got five wide on this one. We're not bringing any pressure. Somebody's going to get open. There it is. Dang it. Oh, all the time in the world for Lawrence to throw. Maybe we should have brought uh, a massive blitz. It's all tied up just like that. Oh, that hurts so much. So, so much. We should have still been on the on the field driving, but it is what it is. Diggs with another chance at the return. He's getting some blocks. Gets enough of the corner to get us past the 30, and we'll take that field position every time against a team like Clemson. All right, we need another touchdown on this drive. We'll see if it can happen. We'll see if the running game is still there. It seems to have slowed down a little bit as maybe our offensive line is getting tired. And I've called the play here, but I don't like it. So we're just going to let the clock run out here on the third quarter. We'll head into the fourth with the ball, hoping to do something. We need a miracle, but uh, you never know. Clemson has activated the clutch skill. We're just going to hope for the best here on a little rollout. And, oh gosh, we have guys open. I just got to get rid of it, though. Can't take the sack. I think uh, my square was there for a little bit, but now it's third and long. All righty. Need to get a good pass here. I know who I'm looking for. The question is if it'll be enough. Javon Hiley. Will he get open? He's got the separation. He's got the catch. And he's got us across midfield. 23 yards to Javon. Not really sure what the coverage is doing there. That's just a uh, bad move from the safety. And uh, we stay alive on the game. Absolutely, we are in four down territory for the rest of this drive. 
Maybe for the rest of the game. We're going to try a run here to Pinson as McFarland comes in motion. The running game is slowed down a lot here in this half, and it continues to be slow. You know, how much of that is the fact that we've lost our starting running back? No gain on the play. Gives us a second and 10. The safety's going to come up here. Looks like they're bringing a big blitz. We're still going to run the read option. And it's a handoff to Pinson, who only gets two. Dang. It's another third and long. Again, we're looking for Fountain or Hiley. We'll see how they play this. Uh, I don't like either of those options. Can McCall scramble? He's going to pick up positive yardage, but not enough for the first down. And we got to go for it here on fourth and five. I do not at all feel confident here. The crowd is roaring here in Death Valley. And we're going to scramble for this. They've let us pick it up. They're not going to do anything to McCall, and he's going to get it. Oh, man, that's a shame that they're just letting him scramble like that. Eight carries for 112 yards now. I got to say, if you're a Clemson fan, you're awfully worried. We're down now at the 27-yard line. There's the handoff to Pinson, who finds a little crease. Somehow sneaks through it and almost picks up the whole first down on that. We'll go back into the conservative tempo as this is a close game. 309 to 307 total yards for each team. There's enough of a gap for the first down. A little bit more for Pinson. And we will let this clock continue to burn as much as possible. One more first down that we can gain here inside the red zone. The blocking is fantastic. Pinson picks up another massive run on first down. It's second and four. We're going to continue to ride the hot hand of, or the hot legs, I guess, of McCall. Another read option. He's keeping this one. There's a lot of space, and McCall picks up the first and goal. At this point, with the clock burning down, there's nothing I'm going to do other than just run it up the middle here. If we have to settle for a field goal, I just might. Taking every second off the clock that's possible. Pinson goes into the end zone. You know, I wish that he was stopped just shy of the uh, goal line there but I can't deny I am happy to take the lead. It's a touchdown. Seven points with a minute and 34 to go in the game. It is now up to the defense to avoid overtime. Clemson going to be throwing a ton on this drive. All we need to do is hold them. The clock is running right now, so that's massive, but they have all their timeouts. And we're going to be bringing at least a little bit of a blitz on all of these plays. That's a terribly dangerous throw. It was out of bounds. Third and three now. Massive third down now. We're going to be bringing the pressure. And I think that this game right now proves that uh, no matter who our opponent is, we're just going to have a close game. They're going deep. They've got a man wide open. It's Ross. He's got the 50-yard catch and a first down with a minute and 10 to play. Lawrence just absolutely burned us deep. They haven't had to use a timeout at all. And they're bringing a man in motion. Do we see a run? Yeah, they, they're comfortable with the clock now, which is great because if we tackle them, the clock's going to be uh, burning. As we go under a minute, they will take their first timeout. If they manage to pick up another first down, I think that we might start taking our timeouts to save as much clock as possible for our own drive. And there it is. There's the first and goal. They take their second with 56 to go. Trevor Lawrence is 19 of 22 on this game. So we're going to look to shoot this gap on first and goal. The pressure wasn't able to get there. No first down yet. Uh, we're going to take the timeout. I can't expect to get a stop on this uh, drive. Yeah, especially quarterback keeper for Trevor Lawrence. So uh, it's a tie game. We have plenty of time. 48 seconds, two timeouts. Can we get into field goal range? I would prefer not to go to overtime. Diggs with another non-returnable ball. That's a waste of time to bring that out. So we have 75 yards to go. 48 seconds and two timeouts. Can we get this done? The one thing about this drive is that we need to be incredibly safe with the football. We cannot afford a turnover, especially this deep in our own territory, but we can't afford... Ooh, McCall kind of screwing that up. I, I'm going to take the first time out. Their safeties are not playing deep at all. All it's going to take is one blown assignment. That could have been it. Javon Hiley. Oh, I saw him streaking. It's third and eight. I got to make sure we don't give them enough time to win. This could be for all the marbles. They are not really bringing any pressure over the middle. Can we find likely? No. Oh, no. I just lost us the game. 32 seconds. They're basically in field goal range after that interception. Oh, it would have been better to punt it, but oh, I hate to see it like that. 
Well, I don't think there's a whole lot we can do here. I'm going to try to use her McRae at the defensive end. See if we can do something. Lauren's going deep into the end zone. Bush is there and he drops the pick. Derek, you have to hold on to that, my guy. You have to hold on to that. I don't think we will ever get an opportunity that good in the rest of this game. Second and 10 now. Trevor Lawrence only his fourth incompletion of the day. We're bringing pressure with McCray. We got to him. He's going deep and there's not a the touchdown. Oh, he went right back to the same guy on the same route and it works perfectly. We now have 22 seconds in a timeout to go the length of the field and score. This is a returnable ball for Diggs, though. I know it's could potentially wasting a ton of our clock, and yeah, it wasted a frick ton of it. Oh, terrible, terrible, terrible. Well, it's four verts time. There's nothing else that we can do on this one other than hope and pray for a miracle. Throwing this one up. Bed good. Can't come down with it. 13 seconds now. We basically need back-to-back -back massive plays here to have a chance. And I don't know if we have the arm. Highly had a massive step on his man. Grayson just freaking missed him. Eight seconds now. That is so inexcusable now. Especially for a guy who the game says is on fire. It's third and ten. We got to throw up a bomb and hope for the best. Five, four. Highly can't come down with it. Game over. Oh my gosh. There's a couple of throws that Grayson has just royally screwed up to put us in bad positions, including when we were in the position to throw the pick. One second left, down seven. Clemson's going to hold on to win at home. This is the most disappointing loss that we've had so far. We absolutely could have had the upset over the top 10 Clemson. An in-state uh, opponent. We just couldn't get it done. Oh, that hurts so much. Dropped interception from Derek Bush in the end zone with 20 seconds to go in a tie game to then get beat immediately the play after. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna haunt me for a long time. I 100% thought we, that we were gonna win that one. Grayson McCall had such a great game passing until the very end. A couple of misses on open targets uh, and then, uh, you know, some tough interceptions that... Um, you know, you could blame me more than him, but there were spots where we were being forced to throw. Otherwise, it was going to be a turnover on downs anyways. So just disappointing. 42 to 35 should have been a win. We fall the two and one on the season. You know, hopefully we can bounce back against Auburn, but not having our starting running back both for the second half of this Clemson game and uh, for this whole Auburn game is going to be very, very difficult. But we can advance the week here. We'll see what Auburn's ranked. We'll see uh, maybe if some other teams in the top 10 or the top 25 took some losses. Hey, well, at least Nick Cannon, the 70 overall right guard, is ready to visit. Auburn is now 2-0. Who have they played so far? Obviously, they weren't able to lose a close game against 1-1 uh, one one Kansas. No, that's us. <laughs> uh, they beat an 0-2 Mizzou pretty handily and a 1-2 Mississippi State pretty handily. Uh, honestly, I don't know if I, I think Auburn's going to be a harder game than that Clemson one. All right, around the country, anything crazy happening? It doesn't really look like it. I think maybe one team? Georgia. Yeah, Georgia loses to a now number nine South Carolina. So they will drop all the way to number 12 and take their first loss of the season. Uh, Oklahoma State is 0-1, and, and they just are kind of chilling there. <laughs> Three weeks into the season, one game played, not much going on there. Cal lost to USC in overtime. And let's see, Florida State loses to number four, North Carolina. That's their first loss of the season. And Nebraska, Cincinnati, and Tennessee also all fell uh, last week and this week i think that we see some stuff 24 versus 5 are playing uh 9 and 11 are playing so uh you know us playing number 10 there's a chance that something you know crazy happens but i gotta say i'm not sure i like our odds even though auburn is only a 95 compared to clemson's 99 overall but unfortunately, I think that that's going to have to do it for us uh, this episode. You know, I said, uh, I think last episode or two ago that uh, we were going to get back to kind of a regular upload schedule. But the holidays have just been so chaotic and um, some issues with recording have slowed me down. So 
we uh you know uh, i can't i can't promise anything right now but i'm thinking as the new year starts that we should be back on schedule uh we've crossed the 400 subscriber mark so that's incredible thank you guys for that uh if you're not subscribed feel free to to hit that button down below uh, it, it helps out quite a bit it's free and you know at the end of the day if you don't enjoy the content uh you know in a in a couple of months in a couple of years you can always hit the unsubscribe button um and then feel free to follow us on twitter join our discord head on over to twitch.tv slash goonmaster give us a follow there maybe if you get a twitch prime sub you hit us with that <laughs> oh, i'm just kidding anyways thank you guys for watching it means a ton um hopefully we can avenge our loss take out uh, the other tigers against auburn in the next episode but as it stands uh thanks again for watching my name is goonmaster you guys are the to boys and wherever you are have a good night or have a good morning and we'll see you later adios